Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. Today's Five Ways Wednesday, and today what I'm gonna show you is five ways to pack the Jujube Helix. It was just recently re-released as part of the new XY collection, which is why there is a different logo here than the one that you usually see. Um, but I decided that it was timely to do a Five Ways Wednesday for this bag, because um, if you follow Jujube's Facebook page, they recently came out with an announcement that they are making a very, very limited number of the Helix style bag in some of the most popular older Hello Kitty and Tokidoki prints. So I know there's gonna be lots of people who are thinking, <laughs> well, I didn't really want a Helix, but I would sure love another DSS bag, so you're gonna go for the Helix, um, and you might be wondering how you can use it, how you can pack it, etc. They are going to be having a Donatella Sweet Shop Helix, and there's gonna be a lot of people shopping for that on release night, um, which won't be at the Sensible Mama, by the way. It's only through Shop Jujubee. It's going to be this Thursday night um, at nine o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So I'm on the East Coast, it's gonna be midnight for me. So if you're somebody who's gonna be looking for a DSS um, Helix, or maybe the Out to See one, or any of the other ones that they're gonna be making, you might want to stick around and watch this video to get some packing ideas for it. So one of my best tips for loving the Helix, if you're going to be using it, is to think of it more like a Be Light than like a diaper bag backpack, okay? Um, this is one of the bags that does not come with backpack straps, okay? So you have no backpack option with this bag. You also don't have a grab handle on the top. All that you have is a messenger strap. Now, I have my Tokidoki Dreams messenger strap attached here because honestly, that's just the way that I carry my uh, Helix. You do get a seatbelt strap style um, strap just like you do with the Be Sporty. This is what comes with the Helix, but I tend to just prefer my Jujube sold separately messenger straps, so that's what I keep attached to my Helix. And I really found that uh, when I couldn't fall in love with this bag at first, it was because I was trying to think of it and pack it up like a Be Sporty or like a Be Right Back. And when I decided to begin thinking of this as more like a Be Light, I really started falling in love with it. So I'm gonna show you ways to pack this up that might be very similar to the way you would pack a Be Light. I'm gonna show you how I'm packing this as a productivity bag for me. I'm gonna show you two different ways to pack it as a diaper bag. Um, I'm also gonna show you how I like to pack this up for my husband's lunch bag. And the last way that I'm gonna show you how to pack this is how I like to use it for a quick daycare drop-off bag. So with all that said, let me go ahead and show you how I have this packed up as a productivity bag for myself. Um, again, whenever I'm packing a productivity bag, I make sure that I keep it light. I try not to pack too much stuff because I'm gonna be hauling it around all day. I might be in high heels and I just don't wanna carry anything I don't have to have. In the front, I keep a custom piece that was made by my friend Nicole. Um, I like to toss snacks in here just in case I get really busy and don't have a chance to eat. In the mesh slip pocket back here, I have my uh, small set piece in the Toki Pops print, and this is packed up as a wallet. I also have the charger to my computer, as well as my phone charger and cable. I could have fit a lot more down in there. This is actually a really deep and pretty wide mommy pocket in the front of this bag. Um, but like I said, I just didn't want to overpack it. In the tech pocket, I don't have much. All I have is a be charged that has my uh, business cards in it and a Sensible Mama Pen Gem pen. The main part of the bag is again packed up a lot like a Be Light would be packed. On top, I just have a really light hoodie just in case I'm in a Starbucks or something where it's really cold. Down in the very front of the bag, I have my Erin Condren hardbound notebook, which I use for taking notes. I have my Erin Condren life planner. This is the 18 month version and it's very thick and chunky and it fits just fine inside the Helix. And lastly, I have my laptop. This is a MacBook Air. Um, I do think if you have anything like way bigger than the MacBook Air, it's not gonna fit very well inside of the Helix, but the MacBook Air fits with a little bit of room to spare. I'd say maybe I have about an inch on one side and um, maybe an inch or two on the top. The uh, Helix is a lot like the Be Classy in that it has the hidden bottle pockets on the side. And in one bottle pocket, I do have a swell bottle. I did not have anything in the opposite side bottle pocket simply because I kind of had to push everything on the inside of the Helix over to get my swell bottle in there. So I couldn't put anything in this other bottle pocket. 
All right, the next way I'm gonna show you how to pack the Helix is as a diaper bag using mostly Be Organized pieces and a few set pieces. I have to say that I am astonished right now because I just took everything that was out of my Toki Pops Be Sporty and put it in here and it all fit, plus a few more things. Um, so I know that I did not have my Sporty packed up as full as it can be packed, but I had everything that I needed for a full day out with my son today packed up in my sporty and I wasn't missing anything. And I was able to get everything but his sippy cup in here. Um, I do have the internal part of the bag packed really full, which left not much room here in the mommy pocket. As you can see, I could probably um, put my wipe pouch in here if I wanted to. Actually, let's test that out. Um, this is my wipe pouch with face and hand wipes in it. I can fit it in that front pocket really, really easily. So that's a great place for grabbing hand and face wipes. Um, I also have in there my wallet and the Toki Pops print, as well as a small Be Organized piece in the Donatella Sweet Shop print packed as a medical kit. Um, if I wanted to, I could also put in here uh, my Erin Condren notebook. It fits really well in there. In the tech pocket is just my phone. Sitting right on the top of the Helix, I have my Donatella Sweet Shop medium set piece, and this contains my Sakura Bloom ring sling. Here is the inside of the bag. Um, I'm sorry for the terrible just lighting and camera angles, guys. Like I said, my family is living with me right now, and we just don't have a lot of great spaces for shooting videos. So the first thing that I have in here is my super toky large be organized piece. This is packed for cloth diapering. I have two cloth diapers, my Jujube Be Dry and the Queen of the Nile print, uh, a wipe pouch with wipes in it, as well as right here kind of sticking out is my baby powder. Sitting next to that right here, I had another large be organized piece in the Unikiki 2.0 print. And this, I have a change of clothes for my son, plus his comfort blanket. Um, if you have one child, this is probably overkill, having to use a, a large be organized piece. But if you're a mom of multiples, if you have several kids that you need a change of clothes for, it is really great that you can fit um, a second be organized piece in there with your first one, and they both fit down inside the helix. And those are not packed thinly either, like those are pretty thickly packed. Um, if you couldn't tell, those were packed vertically, so they were sitting like this on the inside. Lastly, in the bag, I actually have three medium set pieces left, guys. So that's two large be organized pieces and three medium set pieces. I have one that is packed just with snacks for my son. Another one that contains all of my son's restaurant needs, my slip resistant placemat, uh, a Be Neat, some shout wipes, and his utensils. And lastly, I have a third medium set piece in here. This actually has a change of clothes for my son in it as well, because I just pulled this out of my Be Sporty. Um, but I just wanted to show you that you could get three medium set pieces inside of uh, the Helix, in addition to the two large Be Organized pieces. All right, so for those of you who do not have Be Organized pieces, let's go ahead and pack this up with the standard kind of tried and true Jujube accessories instead. All right, so I tried for the most part to pack this up exactly the same way that I had it packed with the Be Organized pieces, meaning having everything in here that I had in the last way that I showed you, but packing up with um, quicks and set pieces instead of Be Organized pieces. Here in the front, I have moved everything from my Be Organized small set piece, um, which was packed as a medical kit, into a small set piece. In the mesh pockets, I have my phone, charger, and cable. And down in the bottom of the mommy pocket, I actually have a Be Spendy, so that does fit down here in the mommy pocket of the Helix. Now, I, I can't really understand why, but packed with quicks instead of Be Organized pieces, I was able to get a swell bottle in the side. I was not able to get my son's sippy cup in there because it's kind of got a weird shape to it, but a nine ounce swell bottle did still fit even with all of my diapering stuff in this bag. Now, sitting right on top of the bag, I do have a Be Quick, and this has got my Sakura Bloom ring sling. I don't love the way that the Be Quick sits on the top here. You really kind of have to work to get it in. So what I would probably do if I needed to have my ring sling with me is I would actually just not even put it in a Quick. I think that I would just stick it kind of on the top of the bag like this. Here is how the inside of the bag is packed. Um, as you can tell, the Be Quicks are considerably 
more bulky in there. And in fact, as a result of putting things in quicks instead of be organized pieces, I actually had to take one medium set piece out. So you definitely save a little bit of space packing with the be organized pieces in here instead of quicks. But nonetheless, I have everything in here that was in the last one that I showed you. So in the Donatella Sweet Shop Quick, I have the changes of clothes and the swaddle blanket. Then in my Black Petals Quick, I have all of my diapering stuff, just like I had last time. And then down in the back mesh, I have those last two medium set pieces, um, one packed with snacks and the other packed with restaurant needs. Okay, so the next way that I have this packed is as a lunch bag for my husband. Um, he carries a hatch from the XY collection to work with him. That's where he puts all of his work stuff. Um, and since that's backpack style, um, if I pack like a pretty big lunch for him, like if he's got a really big day ahead, um, sometimes he can carry something like this and uh, I can put everything in there to kind of get him through his day. So um, here in the front pocket, I just toss um, some wet ones in here for him to clean his hands with. Sometimes he's eating on the run and some Kleenex. And then down in the bottom, I like to put an itsy ritzy snack bag that just has little like Usually it's almonds or pretzels or something like that for him to just grab. Especially if he's driving, he can just reach into the front pocket and grab a little snack out of there. In one of the side bottle pockets, I do like to put a 9 ounce swell bottle. He has a blue one, but it's with him at work today, so I have my pink 9 ounce swell bottle. But I fill this up with coffee in the morning for him to take on the road with him. And since it's in a swell bottle, it'll actually stay warm all day and he can just toss it back in there when he's on the go. In the main pocket, and again, I have this packed really, really light because this is something he would be carrying over his shoulder. I have a core water bottle, and then I can also fit a fuel cell in here packed with his lunch. As small as the Helix looks, it has got a really, really wide bottom to it, which means that you can fit a fuel cell in there with no problem whatsoever, and you can still fit other things in there as well. If he wanted to, he could actually still fit, um, even with the fuel cell and the water bottle in there, he could actually tuck his um, laptop down in the back here. And it zips with no problem. And he actually still has all kinds of room here on the top to toss his cords and chargers and things like that. And then he still has this front zip pocket available to throw a wallet if he wants to. Okay, and this last one is packed as a short babysitter or daycare bag. This is how I like to pack this up when I'm taking my son to church daycare. Now, like I said, because I like to use this for church, what I tend to do is in the front pocket, I put my church stuff in there. So I have a Bible and my notebook as well as my wallet. And what I do is I like to keep a Be Light over here in the side bottle pocket. Um, when someone else is watching my son, I really don't like asking them to have to hunt through side bottle pockets for sippy cups and stuff like that. So I try to keep everything in the main part of the bag, which leaves a perfectly great spot for me to put a Be Light. And that way, once I drop off my son and socialize for a little while, I can just toss my things into the Be Light and I am ready to head off. To church. I do like to keep things as simple as possible for the people working in the daycare, but I also want to make sure that they're equipped with everything that they might need for my son. So I like to toss um, a BB Olay swaddle blanket in there. Although they always have toys in the daycare, I do like to bring along one toy that is familiar to my son. I have a change of clothes and a print that's really easy to describe. Um, it's very easy to say, hey, change of clothes is in the black and white striped pouch. And then aside from using a million different pouches for a million different things like I would in my own diaper bag, I like to keep it really simple for daycare workers. So I have have uh, one container with eating stuff and another container with diapering stuff. So I'm actually able to fit a Be Quick in here, see the black petals print over there, and a fuel cell, which I think is pretty amazing. The way that I used to pack this when my son was breastfed is I would pump 
milk into several bottles and put them in here with an ice pack. And then as he got more into solid foods, I would put some oatmeal in there or some little pouches or something, as well as it be neat and all of those things. Now that he's bigger, this is actually where I will put his sippy cup and maybe some backup water in case they need it and lots of little snacks for him. But essentially everything that he needs, including his be neat and his placemat and his silverware and everything is all in here. And what I do like about the Helix is that this does come with the thin change pad. It's not the thick memory foam change pad like you get in the B-Ray back or the BFF. So you can really easily take that change pad out of the back slip pocket where it usually resides and you can stick it inside of your diaper in quick so that anyone in the daycare who has to change a diaper can get to everything all in one place. All right everyone, so that's it for this week's Five Ways Wednesday on the Jujube Helix. If you've had some reservations about getting this bag but you really want to get it because all these great new prints are coming out, I really hope that this video showed you that this bag is actually much, much more versatile than you might think. Um, I know that a downside of it is that it does not have backpack straps. I totally agree with everyone who says that it would be better with backpack straps. But truly, if you train your mind to think of this like a be light instead of like a backpack style diaper bag, you will find ways to pack it more creatively. To those of you who are gonna be shopping, uh, I guess tomorrow night at the GGB release night, good luck to you. I'm actually gonna be shopping there with you, which I'm super excited about because it's been a while. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you, uh, I guess on Friday, if I don't have my gender reveal before then. It could be, we don't know yet. <laughs> Bye guys, love ya.